Hey guys, we're checking out the Yamaha PW display. I really like this one because it's so simple, but in terms of LED displays, it's uh, actually pretty feature rich. So we've got the PW motor system down here, PW battery that tips out from the side, and then we're just gonna press the power button here, lights up. It's sort of a combination of LEDs and then this little numeric readout, which I really appreciate. There are three different display menus. If you press the up down arrow, it goes from miles, that's range, miles per hour, current speed, and battery percentage. So FL, I mean, maybe that's full. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to take it back down to miles, go up to the first level of assist, eco, and it says 81 miles. So the Yamaha PW motor is very efficient and quiet. I really like that. Arrow up to the next level, standard 53, high 44. So you get really good feedback for what is otherwise a very simple display. It doesn't have an internal battery or anything. Um, and then there's the headlight button as well. Not relevant on this mic because it doesn't have lights, but you'll notice that uh, the backlighting does dim a little bit. So for people who get distracted, maybe you're riding at night and you don't want that glaring up in your face as much, that's a really cool feature. If we step up to this other high bike here, there we go. This one has the removable LCD display. This does have a coin battery inside. Uh, this one has a little micro USB port beneath the button pad. Still very easy to reach. It's kind of similar in terms of reach. Uh, it's just a little bit fancier, a little bit deeper. I've done a video on that one separately that you can check out on the YouTube channel. I did want to call out that both of these bikes use this fairly large and heavy charger, but puts out four amps versus two. So it's kind of nice. It fills quickly, but you can't pull out either cord. So it's a little bit longer. And then the plug itself is just, it's kind of plasticky and it ends up being right there by the crank arm. So that's, you know, I realize that's not in reference to the display, but I hope that Yamaha corrects that in the future. I'm excited about the different displays that they have because now they have the PWX, which I've also looked at. And I want to thank Sam and the Electric Bicycle Center because he, gosh, carries all these different bikes, been able to look at these back to back. I feel like Yamaha's offering a lot of different variety in terms of displays and you can upgrade. So if you had a bike like this, maybe you were getting, you know, a lower level uh, high bike, for example, and you wanted to upgrade to the nicer display so you could take it off and have that charging port, you can do that. How much does that cost, Sam? It's about a $200 upgrade. We've had a couple of people do it. So if you buy this bike uh, on sale and you're like, wow, I saved a lot of money for $200, you get a lot more functionality on the LCD display, the large one up here, rather than the LED display over there. That's great. That's awesome. Guys, I'm going to do a little forum post with this and maybe try to pull the manual, some other photos and stuff. So I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com for that. Sound off with anything I missed. I was not able to find a walk mode or anything else built into this display. I tried to dig as deep as I could, but it's sort of what you see is what you get. And again, this isn't too bad.